Hi everyone, I'm Natalie, a Jamberry Independent Consultant, and today I'm here to demonstrate Jamberry's 123 Nail Wrap application. So the first thing is you're going to want to make sure that you've got your nails clean, polish is all the way off, and you push back your cuticles with your cuticle pusher. I also like to use the Jamberry Nail Buffer to make sure that you get your nails shine and smooth away so that you have a little bit of a rough surface to work with. But nothing too rough, just a very light buff with your nail buffer. Next, I like to use Dawn Soap with a nail brush to make sure that you're removing all the oils from your nail bed. Any oils or grease that's left on your nail bed can actually stop your nail wrap from sticking to your nails. So make sure that your proper preparation is done before you start your application. So let me go ahead and switch to my workstation and show you what I have here. All right, so I've already gone ahead and pushed back all of my cuticles with my cuticle pusher. And as you can see here, I have some of my wraps already set up, okay? So I already went ahead and cut out my nail wraps from my nail wrap sheet. I removed my nail wraps. I've made sure that I fit all of my nail wraps to my nail so that they fit properly. Okay, and I went ahead and already cut in half all of my nail wraps from the sheet. I've also made sure that I've used a good isopropyl alcohol or you can use a Jamberry nail prep wipe. So you can see here, to prep your nails after you've washed with the dish soap so that you've again removed all of the oils and grease from your hands. I've also let the alcohol dry very well, so now we're ready for application. I've also cleaned my cuticle pusher with the isopropyl alcohol to make sure there's no grease or oil on this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Jamberry nail heater. I don't know if you can see it here, hiding in the corner and we're gonna set my first wrap on my first finger so I'm gonna go ahead and take the wrap and gently remove it with the cuticle pusher or you can use an orange stick like this but I prefer to use my cuticle pusher because it has a nice little edge that I can actually get underneath the nail wrap with without touching the nail wrap with your hand you want to try not to touch the nail wrap with your hand because again you can get oils on there that will stop the nail wrap from sticking to your nail. So once you go ahead and get underneath that nail wrap in between the plastic and the nail wrap itself go ahead and peel back the plastic. So as you see here I have the nail wrap ready to apply. So for the one two three application first we're going to gently place the nail wrap onto your finger. So for that, you're gonna make sure that you line the nail wrap, and as you can see, I'm a little shaky, and this is one of the reasons I really love Jamboree's nail wraps, because for me, painting my nails while I'm shaking gets a little messy. So I'm going to gently place the nail wrap as close to the cuticle and as centered as I can get it. Now, the reason we do it this way without heating the wrap beforehand is you want to make sure that you've centered the wrap properly. So if I haven't centered this wrap properly, I can always take it off and remove it with my cuticle pusher and recenter it so that it's in the right spot before I start application. Now once I've got it in that spot, I'm going to heat it up with the Jamboree nail wrap heater for about three seconds. And then I'm going to Use my cuticle pusher to smooth down from the cuticle down to the end of your nail. So once I have that smoothed down in the center, I'm going to heat it again on one side. So this is member one, two, three application. This would be the two. Now that I'm squishing from the side, again, from your cuticle out to the end of your nail. And once I've got that pressed on there really well, I'm going to go ahead and heat the other side. So make sure you've smoothed out all of your wrinkles. You can also use your cuticle pusher with heat by heating your cuticle pusher 
and then actually pushing your nail down with that as well to smooth out any bubbles that might happen when you're pushing your nail wrap onto your nail. So now I'm going to go ahead and heat up the other side of my nail wrap for about three seconds. Now that I've heated it, I can go ahead and continue to push down from the cuticle to the end of my nail. And I don't know if you can see how smoothly I've got it on there, but it looks pretty well to the point where I can actually let it dry now, and not dry, let it cool. And it's gonna cool while I do my other nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more. So next, you take your next nail wrap that you have sized to your nail. Once you have it sized and cut in half, you can go ahead again with your cuticle rem pusher and slowly get in between the plastic and the nail wrap. Once you've got in there, peel back your end. Take your nail wrap and lightly place it onto your nail so that you're as close to your cuticle as you can get, but not on top of your cuticle. Once you've got it centered, and again, I can always lift this off and recenter if I have not placed it right the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and set this on here one more time. Make sure it's in the center. Once I've got it in the center, I can go ahead and lightly push it down in the middle. And again, my hands are very shaky, so sometimes I have a little bit of a problem getting here on first. And this is why I love my nail wraps. So I'm going to go ahead again and heat up the one side of my nail wrap for about three seconds. Once it's heated, I'm going to go ahead and press down from the middle to the end. making sure that I have the seal very good between the nail and the nail wrap. I'm going to go ahead and heat up the other side of my nail wrap for about three seconds. And then go ahead and press down from the cuticle to the end. Once I have that done, I can let it cool for a moment. And then I can go ahead and show you how to remove. So one more thing is to heat up your wrap before you trim and then let it cool for about a minute. So I'm just gonna make sure that these are pressed on nice and good. And it looks like I've got a nice even application. I'm gonna turn off my heater here so I can let it cool off. Now I'm gonna make sure that this wrap is nice and cool because if you don't let your wrap cool before trimming, what'll happen is your nail wrap could shrink as it's cooling and if you trim it too early it will shrink after you've cut it off so normally I usually use a jamboree file to file off the ends and what you want to do is make sure that you're filing at a downward angle and not side to side if you file from side to side you can actually damage your nail wrap and cause it to peel earlier than the 10 day application. I actually like to wear my nail wraps for up to two weeks. My last set was on for 15 days and they still looked beautiful. So now that we've got a nice cool wrap, we're going to start to file in a downward motion to make sure that we're not da damaging our nail wrap. And as I file down, I'm just gonna go around the edge of my nail and gently file down the excess away from my nail. Now once I've filed all of the edges of that nail wrap away from my nail, I can simply peel away the excess from my nail, making sure that it's all filed off in a downward motion and it's all taken away from my nail. And if you can see there, I filed it all off. I've got a nice smooth application and I've also got a beautiful nail now. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.